In this little jam on toast extra recipe, I'm going to be sharing with you an idea that you might like to try at home or in the classroom if you don't have a big blue box of happiness full of these beautiful percussion instruments. Now in my song Sizzle, we played a little accompaniment, but I'm going to share with you what you could try with your own homemade percussion instruments. So let's go raid the kitchen and see what sounds we can make on things around the house. Let's go. Jam on toast. So in my recipe for sizzle, when we played with our instruments, I had egg shakers to make the sound of the sizzle, sizzle, sizzle little sausage. I had claves to play mash potato, masher, masher, masher. And then I had this wood block that's also got a guiro sound to it to play split the peas, split the peas. But if you don't have these instruments, what else could you do? So I've made my own little egg shaker. I've just got a small container and filled it with some dry rice. I think you could make that yourself. So that's going to be my sizzling sausages. Instead of claves, I've got some chopsticks and I'm just going to tap the chopsticks together for mash potato, masha, masha, masha. And instead of my guiro sounding wood block, I found this strainer and I'm just going to play it with a spoon. So I'm going to scrape it like this. Split the peas, split the peas. So that's my split the peas. So I wonder what you can find around your house to play along with my sizzle song with three different sounding instruments. For the sausages, for the mashed potato, and for the split the peas. See what you can find? Let's have a play along with my song with homemade percussion instruments. Let's play. Come on, split the peas, split the peas, sizzle. 